Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing? I hope we're all being safe uh, with this pandemic problem we're having here in the world. Um, we're doing well here. We're working, um, getting those Renais up and running. As you can see in the background, we're in our shop and I set up a wall with our um, tankless heaters and I do have uh, two others to swap out. We have a regular RL series non-condensing, an RUC series 98 condensing unit uh, and we'll go through these in future videos. Okay, today we got some gifts from Renai. These have been highly requested. We have the uh, research pump, we have the condensate neutralizer, and we have the drain down system that's down below. We're going to bring them up. Now, we're just going to show the pieces right now, and then I'm going to do three individual videos on the installation. Okay, so the first thing we got here is the research. Now, all the part numbers will be down in the description below. We have a 98, 25, 82, 99, which is the GTK15. It's a 115 volt recirc. So if you have a condensing unit or a newer RL series unit that has a CERC logic, you could use this if you have uh, a return uh, separate recirc um, loop. Now, what we have here is, of course, the first thing, CERC, Renai CERC logic circulating instruction manual. Then you have the a cord, plug-in cord, that has wire nuts for it. Then you have electric, well, let's go with this. It is a, it is a drum force pump uh, um, style unit. You're gonna get two uh, brass, three quarter inch flanges. You're gonna have four nuts and bolts and two, two gaskets to make up the pump. And then you're going to have your stainless steel, Drum force pump, which again is the GTK15, your power cord, and again, like I said, I'm going to go through all of this in a separate video. I'm just, this is kind of an unboxing. And it has timer capability to time this unit to be turned on and off. So um, it is a good add on. Again, if you don't have the RUR unit or the old RU say 98, or you are 98, excuse me, that has the pump built into here, okay, if you have just say this unit, which is the RUC98IN, you have a separate recirc line, you can then connect this pump to it. So that is the circulator. We're just going to push this on the side for now. So, and again, You'll have the model numbers and pricing below. Second thing is, and this, this pretty much is number two uh, most requested. This is the condensate neutralizer um, tube. Let's just say that is. So on a condensing unit, in certain municipalities and in certain codes, you cannot dump. Michael, just pan down here for a quick second to the condensate drain line that comes off of the uh, condensing unit. All right, so let's just unscrew this. So this is connected to the half inch male white plastic piece on the bottom of the unit. So this is your condensing pipe that would either go, if it's an external unit, would go outside onto the grass, or if it's in a garage, you drill a hole through the wall, it's in a drain, it's in a floor drain, yada, yada, yada. In certain places, in certain municipalities, certain codes, you need to neutralize. So basically, this is the part number 8040000074 condensate neutralizer kit. What this kit comes with is it has two wall brackets to clip the piece to. It has the actual neutralizer tube, directional flow, that is refillable, okay, with the marble chips that's in here, like an old kid's toy. Then it's got, it comes with a seal, of course, the instruction sheet on how to, how to do it. 
And then it comes with a series of plastic. You have your female adapter. It actually is a double female adapter. It comes with three half inch male by serrated fit fittings. And one of them is to be put here. That will then go up on the bottom of your uh, tankless unit. A Y fitting. Now, why is the Y fitting important? I'm going to show you the instructions in a second. So you have three of these, which is in the top of the box here. You see how the box is set up. And then inside of the unit, there is a half inch male adapter. And then about, I would say, 10 feet of clear half inch hose and a half a dozen of these little um, grip clamps. So let me bring you the instruction sheet over because it's very important that this unit is done this way. If the condensate trap, which is back here in these units, if they get filled, you're going to get a code. The unit's not going to operate. And if you can see on the instruction sheet, and I'm going to show you even on the back, you see they want you to put a bypass in. So that if this condensate neutralizer gets clogged, it'll bypass and still drain until you can get this thing fixed. Now, what you would need to do with this is you would need to, okay, so this is the direction of flow right here, in and out to the drain. What you're going to do is you're going to go to a local pool supply if you don't have a pool already, and you're going to check the pH. And if the pH becomes too low, you're going to uh, swap out the uh, marble chips in here. And then you'll be back. Ooh, look at that. Nice catch. You'll be back in working order. But again, this will be on a totally separate video for all of these um, new toys here from Renault. Okay. The last, and this has been the most requested piece. Now, not here in Florida, but this is Renai's Freeze Protection Kit, number 104-000059. And I get this a lot from Canada, and I get this a lot from up north. Basically, what this is, is, and we'll, um, we'll take these out of the boxes and show you each individual piece. Okay, in this box here, which is your standard Renai box, it has, it has a new circuit, a little small circuit board and wiring, or surge protector. You have a Watts vacuum breaker, Okay, because now that the system is going to be open, you need to bring this up above the tankless. So this vacuum breaker, just like you would do on a, a water heater, we go above the tankless. Again, it'll be all in a video. And then you have this magnetic solenoid valve that's going to go on the cold water feed inlet. All of this gets wired into the tankless. There's all, for you techs out there that have seen, you've seen the pieces in here that say freeze protection. So this gets wired in, but the hot water also gets wired in with a check valve. So that when this unit senses it's cold, what it's going to do, it's going to shut the cold water down. And it's going to open up this magnetic solenoid, this little quarter-inch magnetic solenoid. And it's going to drain out both the cold water and the hot water from the tankless. So it's going to shut the cold water coming in. It's going to start, it'll drain out the, both the, the hot water side and the cold water side. So this has to be, but then again, you'll, we're going to mark this up. And we're going to show you exactly how it goes together. So... In the description below will be all of the pricing, um, all of the model numbers, and um, all of the descriptions for, for all three of these units.
All right, YouTube? Um, I hope this was helpful. And um, I started a Patreon channel, so if you'd like to support my channel through Patreon, it'll help, you know, put more video out there and more content on, you know, troubleshooting and servicing and installation. In the description below will be my email as normal. Email me your question and I'll either answer you through email or I will email you my phone number and you'll give me a call. Okay, again, I'd like to thank all of the subscribes, all the likes, all of the comments, and especially all the questions that I'm really glad that I can help you out there. All right, YouTube, you'll be happy with your hot water and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.